Thank you, Josh. I, I'm going to be brief. Um, I gave a talk to the docents here yesterday, trying to equip them with some shorthand angles about what might be helpful as you take your visitors through the exhibition. And I was asked a very challenging final question, and that's, if you had to boil it all down to one takeaway, what would that takeaway be? What is the message that you would like both our docents and our patrons to walk away with? And I think the answer to that is the challenge of acceptance, the challenge of being formerly persecuted in a way that Jews are not today, but that other minorities are. And the challenge is how, in the face of broad acceptance, do you somehow become more the same as other Americans, yet retain your distinctiveness, your difference. The overarching theme here is not merely the overcoming of adversity by Jews. It's not a story of uh, anti-Semitism was virulent, now it is less so, uh, and, uh, and we Jews are very heroic and we have much to take pride in. The overarching question for all minorities is, who's in, who's out, who gets to decide? And other minorities may be chasing, may be confronting, grappling with this issue to a greater extent than Jews do today. But the Jewish experience in baseball on display here provides a wonderful window onto this larger landscape of the question that really has defined us as Americans. The great American experiment is how do you get birds who are not of a feather to share the same nest equitably? And, uh, I'm very proud to have been a part of this adventure. My, my challenge, my, as the personal challenge that I took was everyone's going to come here knowing something about Hank Greenberg and knowing something about Sandy Koufax. So how do you give them more? How do you tell them stories they don't know? You have to give them some of what they already know, but you, want to have, you have to let them uh, share their expertise with their children and grandchildren as they walk through the exhibitions and recall their days of worshiping Hank or Sandy. But it's the new Jews. It's Helen Dobre, it's Ida Schnall, it's Shirley Povich's brother Abe, who in 1926 played in a game for the Hebrew Stars against the Ku Klux Klan. And these are stories that I didn't know until we commenced the research for this exhibition. So it is all the, the little stories, the, the hidden jewels, the uh, undiscovered heroes that, for me, form the delight. So if Hank Greenberg and Sandy Koufax are your entrees, some of us like the appetizers better than the entrees anyway. And we have some wonderful small stories. I would encourage you to take your time going through the exhibition we have tried not to be verbose in our placards, and sometimes we have murdered the story by shortening it. You know, the Helen Dobre story, I could I can do this for two hours right here, right now. And we, we, give, her, uh, we give her 30 words. So the, the challenge is how do we compress a great, long story into a meaningful short one that at the end widens again onto the larger landscape of American minority culture, American acceptance into baseball and America. Is there a more perfect example of meritocracy in our society than baseball? I don't think so. Baseball shines a beacon to the rest of our nation. And I believe this is the theme that I would like you to, if possible, keep between your ears as you walk through the exhibition and experience the various smaller delights. Thank you very much. Thank you.